Thank you, thank you. Uh, how's everyone doing tonight? Great, well, uh, thank you. Uh, we are the Canard Santos Octet, and this, uh, this little uh, performance kind of uh, was spawned through uh, collaboration, partnership, uh, camaraderie uh, that started at UT Austin um, uh, a few years back. Um, and uh, almost five years ago. Um, and I sen have since moved away. Uh, I am currently residing in Cleveland after uh, spending a stint of time in Miami, Florida. Um, uh, it's nice to be down south where it's warm again. Uh, I can walk around in a t-shirt again. Um, so that first tune was one of mine. Uh, I am, of course, Brian Kennard. Uh, if you didn't know that, um, thank you. Um, so that was uh, a tune entitled Close Enough to Far Away. Um, the title came from uh, me parking in a parking lot very far away from an entrance and my uh, wife said something to the extent of, you're close enough? And I was like, eh, you know, or, or so, uh, it was something like that. Uh, you're pretty far away and I was like, eh, close enough. That's so close enough to far away. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna go on to uh, one of Marco's tunes. So uh, about distance, you want to just go right into it. You want to say something about it. Hello, everybody. Hey, Marco. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your coming and everybody that's watching. And I have to say, also in Portuguese, todo mundo que está assistindo. Uh, the next one, it's called About Distance. It is one, uh, I wrote this when I, was the first one that I wrote when I moved to Austin. So quite some time ago. And that's it. It's a Brazilian style music, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> the drummer doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
So you've uh, you've already uh, heard from a, a couple soloists up here. Um, that's uh, Becca Patterson over on trombone, and is it Eric Hargett? Eric Hargett on uh, saxophones. <laughs> the uh, the fun thing about this uh, this show, uh, or maybe maybe uh, one of the fun things, uh, is that I am playing with some friends of mine. Uh, but I'm also playing with some people I've, I've never played with before uh, who have moved to Austin since I uh, was in town. So uh, it's cool to meet new people and uh, who are also excellent musicians. So we're going to move on to, uh, yeah, excellent musicians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to move on to another one of mine. This is a, a tune called Hear the Sun Whispers, something I wrote uh, just last month. So uh, enjoy.
Matt Maldonado. And John Fremgen on bass. All right, we're gonna move on to another one of uh, Marco's here. Yeah, Brian Kennard on flute. Right? So the start of this show here is, uh, I think I posted something we did. We were playing together on AIM on this school. Our director was here of AIM and the professor, John Fragan. And then I posted something on December, November, and then Brian was like, oh, look at that. We did this, yes. And then we started talking about, we need to do something together again, have you in the city. And then he told me he would be here in town around this time. And then Colin was so kind and to find a good date for us. Yeah. And then I had to move this date and he was kind again to accept the new date. So it was kind twice. Uh, and then we are very happy to have uh, not only people that was part of our story on UT, like this guy here, this guy here, so Jeff, John, yeah. Matt, and then Fabio a little bit after. Uh, but also, also happy to have people that I met after school like Eric and Becca. So yeah. that's a team we're really proud of putting together here. Uh, Colin, do you want to say something about the weekly shows? Like the stuff you have this week? Okay. One more time for this fantastic band. <laughs> Um, we most often have four and five piece bands. We just recently had a bunch of uh, big band shows here with 18 musicians, but getting eight uh, musicians with all their horns and everything up on this stage is quite a feat with all these cameras. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying it out there. I hope the mix is coming through outside or out on the internet. Well, please leave your comments on the stream if you'd like to hear more flute or clarinet or <laughs> What do we have, a soprano saxophone, alto, tenor? You have two kind of flutes here, right? Yeah. Um, this is quite an amazing time up here. This is y'all's first time here at Monk's. Uh, we started as a sort of pop-up listening room all over the east side in uh, 2016. I felt, uh, again, my name's Colin, I'm a pianist, and I was playing around town. I felt, I felt like there was really nowhere where we could play to a captive audience unless you went to the you know, Paramount Theater or something like that. Everywhere else in town was really focused on being a bar first and a concert space second. And so we started the Listening Room series, moved all over town, and during the pandemic we started streaming. And I think we're just over about 325 concerts like this in, I guess, the past two years. And it's been quite a journey. <laughs> Thank you. I always forget how bright these lights are, and when you're hanging out back there and you come up and you're stunned, it's, that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, but there's so many amazing jazz musicians here in Austin. We've uh, been lucky enough to have a lot of people coming through town, and some people returning back uh, to Austin to kind of showcase their music. Another thing with jazz musicians is we rarely go out and make, you know, through composed and highly produced music videos, so it's been a really cool thing to be able to document so many of these amazing compositions and configurations. So uh, if you guys in the room would like to see some of those concerts, head on over to the YouTube channel. That's where it's best represented. If you're tuning in online on Facebook, please hit that YouTube URL. Either place you're at, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're tuning in online, we do have a nice audience in our studio tonight. But if you'd like to support the continuation of the you know streaming and the seven cameras and 16 microphones and all the stuff we've got going on, please go to that Venmo, that PayPal that goes directly to support this band as well as us here at Monks. And I would just like to say, uh, tomorrow night we have a, uh, the Ponder East and Andre Hayward Sextet. All the seats for that show, I guess it's Friday night, uh, there's only one set, it's all sold out, so you can tune in online while you're heading out to where you're going on a Friday night. Um, and then Sunday, coming up from San Antonio, will be the Joshua Alderet Fellowship. It's gonna be a great trio, uh, drums, bass, saxophone, and then we'll continue on with a bunch of shows throughout March. You know, doing a few events for South by and stuff, but we're keeping the jazz alive here in Austin. Please hit that tip jar, and if you're online, go to Venmo, PayPal, support this fantastic band. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. So the next one 
is a, a blues that I wrote for my snoring favorite dog in the world. <laughs> so uh, that's Polly's Blues. And Polenta, if you're watching, no, she's sleeping. <laughs> she's definitely sleeping. Uh, and it's funny because I'm playing here, I'm usually playing here, and my mom is sending texts while I'm playing. Like, I'm watching you, so. Mãe, eu sei que você tá me assistindo, tá tudo certo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jeff Helmer, Becca, Matt, Fabio, Fabio Agostini, Matt Maldonado. So the next one is also one that I wrote. Actually, I wrote last week. So that's, that's very, very fresh. Uh, so the name of this one is a long name. It's Things Money Should Not Buy, But Seems to Be Always For Sale. If I talk about this, it's going to be too bitter. So I'm not going to talk about it. So actually, I'm going to change a talk about the opposite of it. Uh, so I'm finishing the semester my DMA at UT yeah. oh, in jazz yeah. composition. <laughs> Let's see. Some people here can hold me soon. I'm trying to make my case right now. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, you can buy that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> for sale. Uh, and there is one person that I like to talk about here. Uh, so. I think uh, almost everybody here is related to UT. I know a lot of people that's watching is related to UT. So alumni or family of people that studied UT, uh, students for UT, like current student in my case. And I think everybody in the city knows Jeff Helmer, <laughs> right? And Jeff is retiring like everybody knows. He's gonna live his nice <laughs> life in Hawaii. Uh, we're and done. we're all very, very, <laughs> yes. And I'm very I like, really, really glad that we could have a chance to play like today one more time and before uh, you're not living in Austin anymore. And there's something that I have to say about Jeff because like someone in his position of the director of the jazz at UT, uh, of course, and everybody knows about the musician he is, like how skilled he is, like he's one of the most impressive musicians I ever met, ever saw in my life. But I'm not even talking about this because I think this is very clear to everybody. I mean, you listen to him playing today. Uh, not only about being a director, the organization of everything and how the, 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 the degree goes and everything in the school goes and how it's great to study there, uh, the community you're building there and you, worked for so many years there. But I want to talk about the human factor and this is something very important for me to talk like, uh, especially for, for me that I'm not someone from here. So you can imagine how many things I left behind when I moved to the US. So how this is a big deal for us and like for Fabio, like for people that's not coming from here. And the direct of the program that you're gonna face, it's gonna be a big deal for you because I feel that in our field, uh, a lot of people believe in this kind of bitterness between musicians and, and, and people being mean to each other and thinking that this is like a tool to make people grow. This is a kind of tool for education and this is totally not what Jeff does. Uh, it's with kind, it's with love. Uh, I can tell you really believe in what you're doing and I never felt this kind of competition, ugly competition between people trying to be better than the other, not in a good way, but in a mean way or something like this. And this is something that I think that's really like, a lot of these have to do with you, how you treat everybody, how you are fair to everybody, even in being in a position, it's like, it's a political position, it's complicated but uh, it was always great to be around you, always great to be in that school. Uh, and that's one of the good reasons that, for example, me and Brian, we still have contact, we could play together today because uh, we had this, good, it's a bad, vibe, bad word, but it's like this good vibe in the school. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of how you treat education and what I have to say is thank you a lot. And I really hope the next person that comes have at least a little bit of the beautiful human factor you bring to the school. That's very great. We are all like everybody says that, and we are very glad to be part of this school that you were director. So thank you, Jeff.
In Portuguese, it would be way better, sorry.
Marco Antonio Santos. All right, we're going to move on to uh, uh, an older one of mine now, uh, one that I actually wrote back when I was at UT, and some of these guys have played. Um, again, uh, I got to play with Marco a lot in uh, this group, AIM, which was all about uh, composing original music for the ensemble that we were working with. And uh, John Fremgen was, of course, our... Uh, our guide, our mentor for that, and now he gets to play some of that music. So, <laughs> whether he likes it or not. Um, <laughs> I never said I could play it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, a tune I wrote called Song for One Daring. Thank you. 
Yeah, so uh, some of you know, because I said that so much for two months, I'm recording an album next month. <laughs> uh, so this, oh yeah, man, can you imagine? So the next one, uh, it's one of the tunes that are going to be on this album. That's going to be called About Silence. Uh, actually, some of the people that helped me a lot on this album thing is here, so thank you everybody that's here and, and know about that. So the name of this next one is The Eyes From Us Both, part two, because the part one is going to be only the album. Uh, and it's going to have the solo of Eric Hargett, this beautiful boy using the soprano sax. <laughs> This little man using the soprano sex. So thank you so much. And here we go. Good luck for us.
Yeah. Marco Antonio Santos. I told you he was a beautiful boy. I told you he's a beautiful boy. Yeah. All right. So we've got one more for you, um, if uh, if you're up for it. Um, <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to say, though, really quick that. Um, to have all of you come out on a Thursday night to support original music uh, is a really special thing, especially to composers like myself and Marco and any of the other composers in the group. Um, having an audience is, uh, is a blessing. So give yourselves a round of applause because thank you for supporting the things that we do. Um, we couldn't do it without you. So. All right, we're gonna close out with, uh, with one of mine. Uh, this is something I wrote uh, while I was studying at the University of Miami, uh, where I uh, did my doctorate just after I left UT. Um, and uh, yeah, um, let's see, who's uh, we're gonna hear from uh, Matt on this one and uh, Marco, and uh, this will be a nice, fun, mixed meter romp for you all. So uh, this is a tune entitled <laughs> Better today than yesterday. Brian, just to finish, just to say that, like everybody again. So trombone, oh. Becca Patterson. Yeah. And then at her right, uh, Eric Hargett. Yeah. Here is Matt Maldonado. Yeah. Fabio Agostinis. Yeah. John Fragan. Jeff Helmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're really good to have you here, man, today. Brian Canard. Yeah. And Marco.
Marco Antonio Santos, Fabio Augustus, Becca Patterson, Eric Hargett, Matt Maldonado, Ryan Kennard. Thank you all.